All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, review assignment. Um, so the pattern for question one is um, subtracting seven. So your next two terms would be six and negative one. We write this statement as a conditional statement if to non-parallel, just kidding. Lines intersect, then they intersect. I don't know why I put the Y way over there. Intersect at one point. Okay. Um, now, let's see. Measure of angle one. So, same side interior angles. So that would be 75. And then measure of angle two would be 105. And that's alternate interior angle. <clears throat> okay. And then seven. I don't know why there's not a line there. That's weird. There should be a line there. Eek. Okay. Um, let's see. Seven and nine. No. One and nine. Just kidding. One and nine. That would be corresponding angles. So N is parallel to P corresponding angles. Okay. And then nine... Um, y plus 120 is equal to 180, so y is equal to 60. And then x plus 60 is equal to 120, so x is 60. So y is equal to 60, and x is equal to 60. And then 11 statements, reasons. Okay, so my first statement is angle one and angle two are complementary. And that is given. And then, so that means that measure of angle one plus measure of angle two is equal to 90 degrees. Definition of complementary angles. And then three... Uh, measure of angle, let's see, WXS is equal to measure angle 1 plus measure of angle 2. And that is angle addition postulate. And then 4, uh, measure angle WXS is equal to 90 degrees. So that is substitution. And then angle WXS is a right angle definition of right angle. And then 6, SX is per perpendicular to WX, which is... Uh, perpendicular lines form right angles. All right, and that is it for all the odd-numbered questions.